Hey, sports card fans, welcome back to Card Yard. Got another rip for you here on this video. Uh, I've been talking about the cheap stuff I bought at Lids. This is one of those items. This is a retail display box. 24 packs, 16 cards per pack, 24 packs. They were selling these for 50% off, so the packs were $1.75. You know, the closer it gets to free, the more interested I am in ripping it. So the whole box was $42 plus sales tax. Not too bad. Um, chance for some good short prints here. Um, we'll rip it all pretty fast. We've seen enough of this base now that we don't really need to spend a lot of time on that. I know it was a fresh box because I went to this lids, bought some of these that were out on the display floor, and I went back like three hours later and they had restocked it again from the back of the store. And then they let me buy all the cards that were in the back. So I ended up with six of these boxes four of which are unopened, and two of them they had put out on the floor, but they're totally full. They were totally full boxes, so try to do them in uh, super rips of four packs. It's kind of like uh, the equivalent of a hanger. So I'll, try, I'll do super rips of four packs at a time. It is a lot of ripping, of course a little bit time consuming and we get some security tags so there's about six regular season games left this year it is Tuesday night when I'm making this video I hope your team's gonna be in the playoffs my team is going to be in the playoffs but frankly they're they're kind of limping into the playoffs so I'm not not gonna hold my breath that they're gonna do that well so but here we go. Going to find a lot of rainbow foils for sure. And stars of MLB. There's a lot of packs in here that are just base packs in these retail packs. J Hap now retired. And I also noticed that there's, I also found some loose packs at another store, which I opened off camera. Tons of no hit club inserts, which I kind of thought, Those were kind of tough pulls the first go around when I was ripping this product back in 2022. Face, Randy. And we got a, I believe it's a Stars of MLB here. Soto, long expired. Tyler, we Taylor Widener. Looks nice. The card's been. The box was sitting, you know, without a lot of, nobody was handling these packs because they had just been taken out from the back of the store. So I expect things to be in fairly good shape. I would think we would find uh, one short print per box. That's kind of my gut feeling. Probably about two or three numbered cards. And I would say there'll be three or four rainbow foils and three or four of the retail blues. And if we get a relic or a autograph, it'll be a total bonus. It's a cool Jordan card. I do kind of like that card. It's pretty cool. I don't know who this guy is, but that's also a cool card. I'm uh, Reading a book right now, I kind of recommend it. It's called uh, The Tao of the Backup Catcher. It's written by the, uh, a real writer with Eric Krant at Krantz. Is that his name? He played at a time when I didn't really follow baseball that closely. So, But he played like 16 years in the minors. There's Mookie and Majors. And uh, a little damage on that card. Not that it matters. There's another uh, card that's been ruined with that to catch a predator on it. Eighty-seven Springer. There's another uh, one of the decent rookies that's in here is Edward Cabrera. There's an O'Neill Cruz rookie and Strider. 
And then the Otani card, another long expired, Bregman 87. Here's Pagaro's rookie card. He's on the Brewers now. He's kind of been bad this year. And, and Yepes has kind of found some resurgence with the Nationals after the Cardinals had DFA'd him, I think. I don't think he was part of a trade. I could be wrong on that. But he, Yepes has done all right with the Nationals this year. So his rookie card is in here. There's actually a, is a short print of it, I believe, too. I'm not sure if I have it or not. If you guys watched the channel a while ago, I was ripping some of this. I think we got a gold card here. And I did pull a Bobby rookie autograph out of this. And it definitely came out of one of these retail packs. So we got a blue here. It's Josh Hader with the color match. My eight is just a base card. Devers on the 87. Little corner damage on that one, unfortunately. All those cards, yeah, this part of the box must have gotten dinged in the back room. Here's our, what a short print that is. That might even be a super short print, actually. I, I'm not sure on that one. Awesome card. Nice Willie Mays card. Just amazing. Love that one. That's the first worthy card there. Stage worthy. Sweet Shades on Tatis and Machado. Boy, you don't want to place the Padres in the uh, playoffs, I don't think. They are in fuego. Tatis especially. Hitting bombs. Cool Ozzy Smith, 87 All-Star. Apparently we're going team matches here. Cardinal, all Cardinals, all Padres on the last one. There's the Shohei card. Looks pretty good, actually. This was only those top packs that had the door damage corner. Shohei is always stage-worthy. Getting to the point where I'm sleeving all the Shoheis, even the base cards. There might be another backwards card here. It's a gold card of Jamer. Candelario. He's done... He's had a kind of a good year, too, I think. Let's put that one there. Locaine. And base. We're halfway through. Eight minutes already. Try to speed up the second half. Got our short print, so we, I don't think we'll find another one. But I do love that Bully Mays card. Very cool card. The Holman is a leader suit. Some, uh, some of my relatives have... Uh, <clears throat> my stepbrother's got pictures of his grandfather with Willie Mays. It involves a car dealership that Willie had a sponsorship with, I believe. And his grandfather was... Work for the dealership. I haven't yet to see the actual photo myself, but I think we got the O'Neill Cruz. I feel like we've got a pack here with no, there it is. Pure base pack with one of those. O'Neill Cruz is usually right behind Willie Adamas. There he is. O'Neill Cruz rookie. It's a good card. Got one of these diamond die cuts of Willie McCovey. It's an all Giants rip. Otani. That might be the one Otani card I don't really bother sleeving. Matt Brash is another decent rookie that's in this. Diplan. Blue. And a rainbow foil of Vogelbach. Kind of like Vogelbach. I don't know too much about him, but he's kind of a character as a player. Unpronounceable name. Kolozarvi. I don't know if he's still in, in the league. <clears throat> Got eight packs left, so two more stacks. 
want to thank you guys for watching the videos. Try to make them entertaining. Um, I'm trying to not rip all those Walgreens boxes right now. Simply because I think they're kind of... The last couple of rips weren't very good. Just trying to mix it up a little bit. I'm going to get into some other mystery boxes. Probably in the next couple of uh, videos. Base... Harper should be able to win on a Harper home run challenge card. There's an Ortega rookie card in the blue. It looks pretty sharp. At the end of the video, I'm going to sleeve all this good stuff up. There's that same card. Blue, blue parallel versus base. Look at the stars of MLB. It's crazy. There's Chris Sale probably going to win the uh, Cy Young Award this year for the Braves. It's a really damaged card coming up here. Got another backwards card. It's Dylan Cease on the gold. That's pretty good. Speaking of the Padres, he's a beast for them. Get in front of Otani. It's base. Look at this Rail Muto card. You know, their sorting equipment, it kind of catches the cards. This card is totally trash, so I'm going to just do a little experiment with it here. Like, this top layer, I think, is just, like, plastic. Because you can't really tear these cards. You'll just, there's, like, a plastic layer on top of the cardboard. It's kind of crazy. Couldn't sell that card or do anything with it anyway, so learn something from it. It's the stars of MLB, who cares? All right, last four packs. Let's see what we can find out of a full retail box. Got a finally got a stars of MLB Chrome. Randy. Jonathan India on the 87. Stars of MLB. Try not to waste too much time on the base. Got another Shohei card though. Significant stats. 78 barrels. He can barrel a baseball. The term barrels, that didn't even exist when I was a kid in terms of barreling a baseball. Nobody nobody had nobody had that phrase. We've got Eloy on the another chrome, so two chromes. And basically the last pack here. I always kind of look at this card because there's sort of two versions of it. One's like a, a misprint where it's almost half the card's like pink. I sort of put the pink ones aside. And there it is. So not too much in there. Got a couple Shohei's. There were two gold cards. The other one's in the pile here. And that's the hit of the rip is the Willie Mays short print or super short print. I'll look that up before the next video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a good night, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.